some are now calling these waters the Red Sea. And with good reason. Water spans as far as the eye can see from almost anywhere in southwest Manitoba. Water that doesn't seem to stop rising. Sandra Holden has seen it for herself, snapping pictures from the Morris Dyke. I have all kinds of pictures and each day it's, it's not looking good. She took these pictures Saturday of the bridge that leads from Highway 75 to Morris. Quite a different scene today. Uh, Rosenort went up uh, 0.35 and Morris went up 0.27. Emerson went up 0.04. So it's still going up. I'm, I'm always sorry to hear the up instead of down. Her Martins is the reeve of the RM of Morris. Today he was busy trying to help save the few access roads in and out of Rosenort. We're watching very closely. Uh, the water level is, is uh, uh, near the breaking point. I'm on one of the alternate routes to Highway 75, and my cameraman and I were here on Monday driving through, and only this road, the 205, and this one, the 422, were closed. But as you can see, this road that leads to Rosenort and then meets to Highway 75 is on the verge of being closed, too. Minutes later, it was. Officials say only local residents can drive through it now if they choose to. Martin says most homes are fine considering all the water, but they still have to do some emergency sandbagging. Lonnie Friesen was prepared. He feels his home is safe enough to leave for a few hours to lend a hand. But he won't be one of those people who will leave if an evacuation order is issued for the area. It's been my experience that those people that leave lose their homes, so no, I expect to see. No evacuation order has been issued yet, but there's no guarantee it won't. This has been a very difficult flood to forecast. Why? We don't know. We hope to find those answers after the flood. Right now we want to fight it. A fight that might last longer than anyone expected. Sheila North Wilson, CBC News, in the RM of Morris.